All right, how to set up a file share or a Samba share on a Raspberry Pi. But first, we need some coffee real quick with one of my favorite travel methods, my AeroPress. And yes, I do make coffee and make videos while I travel. I'm at a beach house right now. And if you hear any seagulls or kids, that's just what's happening right now. All right, coffee is ready. Okay, right now I'm traveling and I have a Raspberry Pi that I just picked up from Best Buy. And I'm needing to offload my files that I'm recording right now and for vacation onto my Raspberry Pi in a very easy way. One of the best ways to do that is with an SMB share. SMB standing for the server message block. Now we're gonna be sharing one particular file. Now for me, I have an external hard drive attached to my Raspberry Pi. And this is what I'll share as my SMB share. Now for you, that doesn't have to be an external hard drive. It can be any location on your Raspberry Pi. We'll make it very clear when we actually do this. So let's do it right now. So launch your favorite terminal. And I'm assuming you have some sort of network access to your Raspberry Pi. SSH network chuck at my Raspberry Pi's IP address. And by the way, this is my emergency travel NAS because I left on my trip without any kind of tech, but I needed a quick way to sync my stuff back to my house or my studio. I stopped at a Best Buy, bought a Raspberry Pi, not meaning to rhyme right now, and this is what I have. The first thing we'll do is install Samba. Samba is an open source version of the SMB protocol. Normally SMB protocol was built for Windows, but thanks to open source folks, all of us get access to it. So we'll do sudo apt install Samba. We'll also install Samba dash common dash bin. So notice right after our install command, we have Samba and Samba common bin. These are two things we're installing right now. And we'll add a dash or a tick Y at the end so it doesn't bother us. Ready, set, go. Quick time for a coffee break. And that's it. Now we're gonna edit our SMB configuration file. We'll type in sudo and then use nano as our text editor. And we'll open this file. It's gonna be in forward slash Etsy, forward slash Samba, forward slash smb.conf. That's the actual file. Hit enter and we're suddenly editing that file. And we'll go to the very bottom of this file, the very end. A quick way to get to the bottom is to hit control plus dash and then control V and we're at the bottom. Or just hold down your directional arrow and you'll get there eventually. Now your config might be slightly different, but here's what mine looks like. I'm gonna paste it in right now. Right here in the brackets is the name of the share. I actually wanna change this for me right now. It's what you'll see when you try to connect to it over the network. You can make that whatever you want. Right under that will have the path. And this is the actual place where you have your files or the share that you want to share out. For me, it's my external hard drive. It's mounted at mount USB. Making it browsable, writable, read only, no. Guessed okay? Sure. Keeping in mind, this is not the most secure way to share an SMB directory. This is quick and dirty. Most of the time, if you're just messing around in your home lab in your house, this is fine. Especially since we're using 777 as permissions, which makes it wide open. And then down here, I'm forcing the user network chuck, which is my user for the Raspberry Pi. If you're using the default user for Raspberry Pi, it'll be just Pi. So just know, when in doubt, this configuration is gonna work for you. If you wanna make it more secure, you can just change it from this. That's all I need, I'll hit Control X, Y, and enter to save. I'm gonna do a few more things just real quick. First, I'll make sure the permissions on my folder or my share are also wide open. Again, you could adjust this more securely if you want. This will work for you right now. I'll do a sudo chmodder change modification dash capital R for recursive, meaning whatever directory we're looking at, change the directory's permissions and everything inside of it. And we'll set the permissions to 777, which is everyone can do everything for all time. And then for me, my location will be forward slash MNT, forward slash USB. I almost forgot there. Ready, set, go. Done. And then I'm gonna restart my SMBD service. Sudo systemctl restart SMBD. Okay, I've got an issue. This is fun, live troubleshooting. Usually it's gonna be an issue with my configuration. Uh, the way I can test that really quickly is by typing in test parm, which made me crave a meatball parmesan sandwich. Okay, that does seem to be an issue. I'm gonna run a more verbose command. Sudo test parm dash v. <laughs> Lots of more information. <laughs> I'm gonna look at our file real quick to make sure we didn't break anything. That was at Etsy, Samba, SMB.conf. I'll go to the end once more and look at our stuff here. Okay, after a bit of troubleshooting, here's what I found. Most of that file was garbage. So what I did is make it very simple, deleted everything and had just this. So our configuration, plus some global settings that are very simple. Now if I do a little test parm, <laughs> things are looking good, still hungry. And if I restart my SMB service and spell everything correctly, it should be working. Let's check our status sudo systemctl status smbd. Things are looking good. And now in theory, I should be able to go to my Mac, click on go, connect to server, type in smb colon forward slash forward slash the IP address of my Raspberry Pi forward slash the name of what I named that. Oh, emergency. What, what did I name this? Oh yeah, emerge trav nas. 
Let's try that. Emerge Trav Nas. Actually, before we do that, I wanna do one more thing. I do wanna set a password. We'll do sudo smb pass wd dash a and then our username. Network Chuck is mine. I'll put in my password. One more time, done. I'll restart my service once more. That was not restarting it. Let's try it again. There we go. Now let's try to access it. Connecting, yes. It's prompting me for my information. Put in my password. Fingers crossed. Got it. Now, I should see all my files rolling. Oh, there they all are. What's this picture? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> so in this video, not only do we set up an SMB share on our Raspberry Pi, we also learn how to troubleshoot it a bit, which I think is very valuable for us. So now I can easily offload this video I'm recording right now to my Raspberry Pi and allow it to continue syncing back to my house or my studio. I don't know why I keep calling my house. That's all I got. I'll catch you guys next time.